All right, guys, here's a video of the uh, Predator throttle linkage action since I degoverned it. And what I wanted to point out is that spring running under the gas tank was the spring that came with the motor and connected the governor arm. So what I've done is just hooked it on a bracket, you know, support uh, piece of metal underneath the gas tank. So I didn't have to drill or anything, just hooked it in there and then used some needle nose pliers and ran it up to right here. So it's just real stout as far as returning this to neutral. And then you can see the slightest uh, variation. If you look at this swivel nut, it turns just oh so slightly as the throttle actuates, which is why I like to use these um, so that it can have that rotational motion. Now, what I was saying or commenting is I'll probably take like this hole on the next one and drill it out so that I can put the swivel nut there and I believe that will save me from having to notch um, the arm which uh, is pretty much the whole inspiration for this video I'm gonna pull this off right now and just spray some primer on it since it is now exposed raw steel and it lost that coating but again pretty smooth action and the rod itself here is just uh, the throttle rod and I have bent it into that shape. You can use a coat hanger if you mess this up. And it's actually long enough, and to tell you the truth, I messed up the first one, so this was the second half of the rod that I had originally cut off that I bent into shape. So the motor gives you what you need to take the governor off and reconfigure the throttle, um, and it even gives you a second chance on that throttle arm. Now, furthermore, you know, you see the guys with your go-kart throttle you can run it from this clamp to this swivel nut you can relocate this clamp to here and then run it to this swivel nut if you weren't using it for that uh, then again if you drilled the second hole here and you moved this swivel nut there then you could go with that configuration that's all just going to depend on how your car is set up what the orientation of everything is so I hope you found this video helpful.